Hey guys, it's Monsky here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and going to take a look at a couple of important dates that have just been kind of announced, revealed, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just flying around doing a bit of exploring sort of stuff at the moment. So let me actually use my discovery scanner. Da -da -da. All in delicious 60 FPS, assuming it all works properly. Listen to that sound, that's a new sound in uh, this version of the beta for the discovery scanner completing. I don't think it even found anything. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there may not even be anything in this system. Um, anyway, what am I talking about? Dates, right. So, as I'm looking down at my piece of paper, which track I asked shows off perfectly, we've got the release date of the game, finally announced, which is the 16th of December. Now that's a bit over a month away, so that's, um, that's coming up pretty quickly. So what that also means is that ba uh, Gamma, which is what they're calling basically a release candidate, pre-release sort of version, that sort of thing. That's coming out uh, November, what's that, 22nd. Let's jump to another system. Uh, what's one with a cool name? Wise. Let's do that. That's basically how I determine where I'm going next when I'm doing this exploration. Wherever has the coolest name. And I'll, I'll run the scanner again just in case it didn't work or something. The waiting, waiting. Alright. Who's this up ahead? It's a hauler. Bruce. What a manly name. I'm not trying to exit. Stupid game. I just want to jump to wires. No? It unlocked the destination. That would be why. So anyway, Gamma, November 22nd. Now, that also means that on November 22nd, the beta ends. So if you want to get into the beta, if you want to play through Gamma before the game releases, you have to buy the beta, uh, just the standard beta, before November 22nd. So keep that in mind, I guess. So yeah, that's um, it's all coming along pretty quickly for Elite at this point. So that's uh, it's really really good to see. It all seems to be going pretty well. You can all do this bright red purple planet. Uh, you can see in the bottom left corner, I'm down in beta 3.04. So, um... They've been keeping the game updated a bit. I don't know why it's not picking up anything. Maybe... Maybe I'm just not... There's no planets or anything in these systems, I guess. I guess that's possible. Let me just, uh, scan this star. Alright. I suppose I could scoop it as well. Maybe I just should get some fuel. If there's no stations around, I probably need to scoop some to get some, I guess. So, I think there's going in regards to wipes with uh, Gamma and everything, I think that there's going to be a wipe um, between this version of the beta and Gamma, and then another wipe between Gamma and the full release. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I believe that's the plan. I don't know if that's changed recently. Hey, look at this planet, it looks, uh, this sun, star, what's the word? Whatever, it looks really cool. Anyway, let's, let's fly up a bit closer to this and we'll skip a bit of fuel, shall we? Try not to get too close. Don't want to burn myself. Heat level's critical, and it just... That was weird. I don't know why I didn't start scooping. Alright, whatever. Fuel scoop is active, and you shouldn't need to uh, activate it. It should activate automatically. Unless they change something. Taking heat damage, wonderful. Well, I don't know why the, I don't know why the fuel scoop didn't activate. Ah, uh, shoot, I'll lighten the escape vector. Alright, that was odd. I wonder if there's certain types of stars that you can't scoop or something. I've got no idea. Um, well, I'm, I'm still taking damage, so that's that's not quite what I wanted to do. Let's get out of wires. This has been a shitty system. Don't like you anymore, wires. Where am I going to go? Corsis sector. That's an awesome name. Let's go there. Don't even know what the full thing is. Ah, exploring. So much fun. And now I really do need to find a station because I don't want to take much more damage. What's that say? 64% or 54% one or the other. I'm blind. Yeah. 
Oh, that's no good. So I guess in regards to the wipes, it it does mean that there's not a whole lot of point doing a ton of grinding. I mean, if we know that there's a wipe coming up in the next couple of weeks when Gamma comes out, there's really no point grinding for ships, right? I mean, I know, I know we're... It's another red planet. Star. I keep calling it planets. I know we're supposed to be testing and all that, but at the same time, there's only so much you can do. I mean, personally, I, t I kind of talked about this before. Um, I would like to keep some of the game kind of fresh for um, for the full release. So that's why I'm not playing as hardcore or anything like that. I mean, I, I played a lot during, was it beta one? Yeah. Um, and I got, well, I got the lake on type six and then a couple few million credits, I think. So I played a fair bit then. But um, I think after that, I'm just kind of waiting until the game actually releases. So, let me actually open up this system map. I don't think it's going to tell me anything. So we do have, it looks like a... That's another star. So there's two stars in this system. Maybe there's more planets around this one. I don't know. Didn't expect it to be so hard to find just planets and stuff. It's interesting, only one of them has actually showed up on the uh, th thing though. The other one might be really far away. I don't know how far the uh, scanning range of the Discovery Scanner is. It's annoying being in the hauler as well because I can't look out the roof. Oh, there we go. Unexplored. How far away is that? 400. Okay, let's go over there. Or is this where I started? It probably is, actually. Because I'm a massive noob. What's this other ship doing? Type 6 transporter. He's probably going somewhere, right? Or do they just float? Holy shit! 114,000 light seconds? That dude's a long way away. How can I even see him? Man, some of these systems are really big. Can you imagine how long you'd have to be in Super Cruise to get to that guy? Like, I think you can go up to about... I don't know. I think you can go over a thousand C. But still. That'd take a while. And it takes forever just to get up to that speed. Oh, I'm not fucking around with that guy. Staying here. Uh, what's another cool name? How much fuel do I have? Yeah, it's fine. There's two wire systems. Let's check out Struve. And I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. Put my uh, thingy away. Always a good idea. You don't want to go running around with your thingy hanging out. Alright. So I'm not quite sure what extra features um, we're supposed to have in Gamma or in full release even compared to what we have now. Presumably full release will have most of the uh, map unlocked. I believe the idea is that even though they're doing these like 100 billion stars or systems, whatever, um, they're going to have some of it kind of hidden away, locked away, so that they can use it for story content and that sort of thing. I think that's the idea. I may be wrong with that, but either way, it's it's kind of stupid. But even if they even if they lock away like a million systems, it doesn't even matter with how many there is. Like it's kind of crazy. Right, let's run my discovery scanner again. Hey, we found something. Four astronomical objects. Any of them stations? This one maybe. Let's go over here first. I don't know if stations pop up as being unexplored or if they are actually show with a name. But I guess we'll find out. This could just be a moon or something as well. I mean, this is why uh, exploring can be a bit risky. And it does this. It's, uh, the game hasn't crashed. It looks like it has. But it's been doing this lately with this latest beta. It just kind of freezes as I approach planets. I think that that's because they've... Um, They've updated the textures, they put some high-res textures on a lot of the planets. Um, and it just... I don't know, maybe it's loading those textures or something, but... I could be wrong, could be something else. That's just a little moon, isn't it? Is there a station anywhere on the moon? Let me run my scanner again. Doesn't look like it found anything. 
So this is an anarchy system, apparently. Yeah, so this is all exploring is a bit dangerous. I mean, um, I've been going system to system and I still haven't found a station in forever. So I've got a fuel scoop, which means I should be safe uh, if I get close to running out of fuel. Although we did see that I uh, tried to scoop that other star and it just almost flew straight into it. So, who knows. Um, where else am I? Can I go Bidmere? Sure. I have no idea where I am in terms of the universal map. I don't know if I'm flying in circles or what I'm doing. Uh, so let's uh, let's go to Bidmere and then we'll make that the last system, I think. Hopefully we'll find a station, but maybe we won't. I'm almost going to run out of fuel too, so I'll have to scoop some up, I guess. But yeah, so I'm not sure um, really what we're going to get. I think there'll probably be some more ships. I would imagine so. Uh, I, think, I think they're planning on releasing with more ships than what we've got now. So, but... What that actually means, I'm not really sure. I mean, I haven't followed the development of this game as closely as I've followed the development of Star Citizen. Um, so I don't know a lot of their plans in detail or any of that sort of thing. Uh, which in a way is kind of good, because um, you get some pleasant surprises every now and then, I guess. But it doesn't look like we've got anything interesting or exciting here. Just... So yeah, I'm pretty much out of fuel now. Well, I'm not out of fuel, but I'm close to being out of fuel. Uh, okay, let's see if I can scoop again. Or if I'll just toast myself. If I even find the star. There it is. Going too fast. So, I don't know why the scooping didn't work last time. Let me put my hard points away. Maybe that was why. Really can't say for sure though. So we'll just fly nice and close. And this time if I think I'm getting too close I'll just uh, pull out of it. Rather than getting dropped out. Heat levels rising, getting the proximity warning, there we go. Alright. So I'll keep it around here. Heat lower. Maybe pull out. Don't want the heat to get too high. My nice uh, smoky cockpit. Alright. The heat's dropping. I love how the, the heat just, uh, all that smoke just kind of flies straight up through the uh, cockpit. Let's go back in for a little bit more. Need that sweet, sweet fuel. There we go. I mean, the, um, the hall has got bigger fuel tanks than the a lot of the other well, I say a lot of the other ships, I should say, than the Sidewinder. Um, I don't know about the other fighters. I think... Oops, just brushed my microphone. I think um, some of the smaller fighters, the Eagle, maybe the Viper, probably have smaller fuel tanks as well. But again... Not really sure. Uh, we are filling up. It just takes a while. Fuel. I mean, there's probably a better technique than the way I'm doing it. I'm not really sure. Let's pull out of that again. Anyway, that's enough fuel. But yeah, so, well, I think I'll end this here. I mean, there wasn't really a ton to talk about this video, uh, apart from those dates, which I mentioned at the start. But, um... Yeah, so... Like I was saying earlier, if if you're really interested in getting into beta, then you only have, I think, a couple of weeks left. Um, and I mean, once that date is passed, then you won't be able to play Gamma either. Like, people who are currently in beta will be able to play throughout Gamma, um, but you won't be able to buy into Gamma, right? So, you'll, basically, if you miss out on that, you'll have to um, just wait until the game's released. But even so, that's like a month. It's not that long to wait, realistically. So, yeah, it's all pretty cool. But, um, so I think I'll end this here, so as always, I've been Volska, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.